Hello crew, welcome back to the Gaming Ocean TCG channel. Hope everyone's doing well. And in this video, we're going to unbox Star Decks 5 and 6 in the Shadowverse Evolved TCG, Vaults of the Undying Knight, and Maculate Ablution. Was finally able to get my hands on these starter decks. Look forward to the last two that we will unbox on this channel. So what we're going to do is get into these decks, see what they're all about, check out the cards, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more TCG content. Without further ado, let's dive into the first Abyss and Havencraft Starter decks in the Shadowverse Evolved TCG. All right, so let's start off with the Abyss Craft Starter Deck. And of course, each Starter Deck comes with tools, life counter, playmat, and a guide how to play. I will link in the description down below of the first unboxing of the other two Starter Decks where I showcase that. We're just going to get straight to it. So again, Abyss Craft will be starting with first. I like, the, I like honestly the packaging, how they put the Starter Decks in. And there is, there we go, little tape hole in everything. And this one decided not to work in my favor. Slice that apart. Easy peasy. All right. Bisscraft, here we go. So starter decks or decks consist of 40 or 50 cards. You also have evolved cards, leader cards, and tokens. So here's going to be the main deck for the starter deck. We got Queen Vampire, beautiful illustration. And we'll go ahead and read the cards and see what they do as well. Queen Vampire, summon two forest bat tokens. So you get tokens out of this. Also gives your leader minus one, summon two frost, sorry, forest bat tokens. Whenever a forest bat token is put onto your field, give it plus one attack and ward. That's pretty interesting. Like a defense line for your Queen Vampire. You get three, the starter deck. These are the foil cards. Legendary. Our gold card here, Alucard. It has Storm. Also, Necro Charge, 10. Give this follower a plus 2. Strike. Select the enemy follower on the field. Deal it 4 damage. Give your leader plus 4 defense. You also get 3 of these. Alright. And the rest of the deck. We got Playful Necromancer. Evolve this follower for 1 evolution point. Three of those. Midnight Vampire. Summon a forest bat token. So at least all of them so far summon forest bat tokens. While this card is on your field, your forest bat tokens have drain. When a follower with drain attacks and deals damage, its leader gains defense equal to the damage dealt. Well, that's pretty cool, actually. Three of those. Night Horde spell card. Summon two forest bat tokens. So once again, select an enemy follower in the field and deal it X damage. X equals the number of forest bat tokens on your field. So the tokens are going to be very important for this deck. We got spec 3. It has Bane. Followers attacking or attacked by a follower with Bane are destroyed after damage is exchanged. So kind of like a suicide, you know? You kill me, I kill you. Also, give your leader minus 2. Give this follower a rush. Put the top card of your deck into your cemetery. Oh, cool. You get two of these. We got Spartoy Surgeons. Put the top two cards of your deck into your cemetery. So there are cards to recycle your deck. You get two of these. Undead King. Select up to two followers in your cemetery and add them to your hand. Two of those. Lesser Mummy. Evolve this follower for one evolution point. It also has Necro Charge 10. Give this follower Storm. If your cemetery contains at least 10 cards, perform Necro Charge 10. So kind of like the uh, Ruin Craft, you need 10 spell cards. Necro Charge is kind of the same idea. You got Lilith, evolve for one evolution point, and put a forest bat token into your EX area. You get three Liliths. Razory Claw spell card. Deal two damage to your leader. Select an enemy leader or enemy follower on the field and deal it three damage. Two of those. We got Undying Resentment, another spell card. Select an enemy follower on the field, deal it three damage, and put the top card of your deck into your cemetery. Three of those. We got Summon Bloodkin, another spell card. Summon a Forest Bat token. Put a Forest Bat token into your EX area. And all your Forest Bat tokens seem to have 1-1. One, one. You get three of these spell cards. All right. We got Fighter. Just bodies on the floor. To summon, Goliath. Angelic Sword Maiden. All right. So this consists of the deck itself. That's where it ends. Now I'll put... These back here. Now we're going to the evolved cards. 
So on Evolve, summon three ghost tokens. This is Playful Necromancer. So this one summons ghost tokens. Different from the bats, we got Lesser Mummy, Strike, summon a ghost token. So another ghost token. And these ghost tokens get 1-1. One, one. And Storm at the start of your end phase, banners discard. Hmm. And then Lilith, Strike, give your leader plus two. Get three of those so far, and of course, oh, you get a Goliath evolved. Just big body, five, six. And of course, your three evolution point cards you get for those who go second. All right, and the remaining cards in this deck. Of course, Luna, the leader card. And these are the thick cards, super thick. Here's your ghost token, you get Storm. You get four, five ghost tokens, and the forest bats. One, two, three, four, five, five forest bats, so five on five. These are super thick. All right, that is the Abyss Craft starter deck. Now let's move on to Havencraft. Same deal. Unbox from the plastic, pull this tape off. Do you see that did not come out correctly? We're gonna grab our knife again. Here we are. Yeah, now it's in frame. All right, I'll go ahead and separate them again here as well. All right, let's start with the deck itself. We got Skull Fame. The legendary card. Look at the top four cards of your deck. You may reveal an amulet from among them and put it into your field. Put the remaining cards into your cemetery. Whenever an amulet leaves your field, deal two damage to each leader and enemy follower on the field. Wow. Oh. Anyway, everyone gets damaged. You get three of these, of course. Seems that's what you get in the star decks. Three copies. You got hair illusions. Well, oh, that's actually a really cool art. This is very nice. It is an amulet. Put this card into your cemetery. Select an enemy follower on the field and engage it. And if you get there's a 10 cost there, put this card into your cemetery. Banish each follower on the field. Ooh. That's more deadly. All right. Those are the two hollow cards in the deck. The rest of it, we got Priest of the Sujil. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, evolves for one point. No real other effect other than evolution. We got spell card Acolyte's Light. Slide the enemy follower on the field and banish it. Give your leader plus two. Dual Flames. Summon a Holy Tiger token. And then it says with two evolution points, put this card into your cemetery. Summon a Holy Tiger token. And these artworks are so nice. Cruel Priestess. Select the amulet that costs five play points or less in your cemetery and put it onto your field. Oh, nice. Snake Priestess. Ward. That's all it has. Nice, two of those. We got Ardent Nun. Evolves for one. It has Ward. And during each opponent's turn, this follower deals one more damage. Okay. Guardian Nun. Evolves at one point. Has Ward. And if there is an amulet on your field, give this follower plus one. So amulets are crucial for this deck. Has Cemetery for the Abyss Craft. Hollow Dogma. Spell card. Look at the top five cards of your deck. You may reveal an amulet from among them and add it to your hand. Put the remaining cards on the bottom of your deck in any order. Okay, search cards. Another amulet. Death Sentence. This card is put onto the field. Engage. Put this card into your cemetery. Select like the enemy follower on the field and destroy it. Nice. Indian Prayer. Put this card into your cemetery. Summon a Holy Falcon token. So this amulet summons tokens. You get three of those. Beastly Vow. Amulets. This card is put onto the field engaged. Put this card into your cemetery. Summon a Holy Tiger token. Okay, you get three of these. And looks like that's the Havencraft cards. Now we're going to get to the generic cards for the deck. Angelic Sword Maiden has Ward. Healing Angel. Evolve this follower for one. Give your leader plus one. Angelic Snipe. Spell card. Select enemy follower on the field and deal it two damage. And that is the main deck here. Now we get into the Evolve cards. 
All right. Of course, we got Priest of the Sujo. On Evolve, select an enemy follower with three defense or less on the field and banish it. Okay. Get three of those. Hardened Nunt gets Ward. Nice artwork. Guardian Nun. <laughs> okay. Uh, has Ward and on Evolve, get your leader plus two. Interesting art. Like went to a wedding or something. Three of those. Healing Angel on Evolve, get your leader plus two. So more healing points for your leader. And of course, your three evolution points for those who go second. Now we're getting into the leader card and the tokens. We got Eris, leader card. We have the Holy Falcon. The Falcon token gets Storm. And you have three, go oh, five of these. And I guess it's going to be five, probably five Holy Tigers. The Holy Tiger gets Rush. This tiger looks cool, actually. It's like a like a dragon demon tiger or something. Got horns. One, two, three, four, five. So five on five. So that'll do it for the unboxing of the Abyss Craft and Haven Craft first starter decks of the Shadowverse Evolve TCG. And it looks like Abyss Craft deals with cemeteries type stuff. More, cem more cards in your cemetery, more you can resolve certain effects. And the Havencraft revolves around amulets, having them on the field, and depending by, you know, sending them to the uh, cemetery, summon tokens, that's what it seems like. So, there you have it. Alright, so that's going to wrap it up for these two starter decks. Let me move these up a little bit more higher, actually. A little out of frame here at the bottom. So, what do y'all think about these two starter decks? Between Waltz of the Undying Knight and Immaculate Evolution, which do you prefer? What would you play? Let me know down in the comments down below. If you made it this far, remember to like and subscribe, support the channel, join the crew for more TCG content and opening, and until next time, smooth sailing.